Hey YouTubers, Redneck Brian here. And I haven't done a video in uh, about a week or so. But I have a bit of a quick update for you on the Honda. As you can see, it looks quite a bit different um, than from the last video where you saw it. Carbs off, the exhaust manifold's off, the intake manifold's still on. I figured no point taking it off. And um, here's the exhaust manifold. And uh, as you can see, I got a new uh, pipe flange welded to the bottom of it. That was just done today. My uh, stepdad brought it to work and did it there. No point me doing it because um, they got the they got the two twenties welders there. It's a welding shop. So, and if you look at this, there's like a flange there. So it's actually it is a two piece exhaust manifold, but these two bolts here would not come out. So I just removed it right from the head, as you can see, and uh, just had it welded up. I uh, basically referenced lined it right here, right where I wanted it, and he uh, he welded it, and it's good to go. Just gotta get some pipe from the bottom, and uh, get it back on and get it all together. It actually looks like it's been welded once before. Um, when I first took it off, there was actually a little bit of a weld that was on there, so it was either it was cracked before and somebody welded it, or it had actually fallen off before and somebody re-welded it. Other than that, um, nothing to really say about the Honda. I actually had the Onan running, uh, I believe it was on Tuesday. So two days ago, the Onan was running. Fired up, first crank. So basically, like, once you pull, pull a choke on it, it will fire right up. That's actually running really good now since I uh, did the carb on it. And uh, this here, I cannot start it because, as you can see, it's missing a motor mount. It's sort of technically not missing it, it's just been taken off. And also, got some of this crap here. This is some of the stuff that was um, around the exhaust manifold, which I'm probably not putting back on. Uh, same with the insulation, I got it right there. It's uh, quite chilly out here. We'll show you outside in a minute. Uh, there's the insulation right there. It's all, um, it's probably not gonna be put back on either. Here's the uh, motor mount right there. I also was able to get the uh, the clutch cable out, but I don't know if the clutch is any good on this. Uh, as you can see, it just has just the backing plate left on there, crankshaft, stuck the bolt back in. But um, I'm not sure if the clutch cable is any good or not, or sorry, the clutch is any good or not. So um, I'm actually gonna put it back on and hook it up and see if the clutch is any good if it's not good i believe that's a one inch shaft i haven't measured it yet i'm going to um just run a pulley down to the alternator so and again uh that down there is coming off but the cross member will most likely have to stay uh as far as i know it's not bolted yeah it's welded straight to the frame so but, uh, it's pretty much for it for this thing. It's most likely got a dead battery. I'm gonna uh, untwist this uh, tube here. I don't want it to, uh, I don't want to wreck my tubes. There we go. Had to have it out of the way. What I gotta do is, um, I'm probably just gonna take it right off. Make it a little bit easier to get around uh, on here. No need having it on there, so. Also, I don't want to damage them. They're in pretty good shape, so. And now, snow. Yep, we got snow. We got all this last night and this morning. Uh, considering 90% uh, of our snow was melted, and um, yeah, it did all back. It's, as you can see, quite sunny out now. It was, sun is starting to go down, but it's clear. But um, when I was working, doing my work today, uh, it was snowing the whole time. So I've had this running today, and obviously the snow blower, I used it to clear everything, and this did fire right up. So sorry about my voice; it's just pretty chilly out here. Huh. And I did all this. I did sidewalks for a few neighbors. Um, I have decided I'm not doing driveways. But actually what I want to do is get a power broom like uh, Bill's T-Max has. I'm going to see, look into seeing if uh, you can actually get one of those for this. 
and that actually might work better than the actual snowblower so and my one light fell off um, I think what it is is too tight and it just popped off but they still work so it's got to uh, take it apart and put it back on as soon as it warms up again so and this here nothing really to say about it um, got to weld it up a bit more that's pretty much it this lawnmower here which is actually a Noma uh, my first Noma it um, may have a bad motor I'm not sure yet though um, I want to pull the head and see if it just has a stuck valve if that's what's causing um, basically no compression and if that's it I'm going to try to save it if not I'm probably putting a Tecumseh on there which I don't really want to do and this here just been sitting I need a belt but the thing is with the belt needs to be a half inch smaller and the belt size only go up by an inch or I gotta try to find a new pulley um, because that, if you remember that's a nine horse Tecumseh or find a whole new motor uh, which actually might be easier so that's uh, pretty much it what I've been working on um, pulled this apart last night so I didn't don't I don't work on uh, Wednesday nights normally so it's mainly work Tuesday and Thursday so so yeah that's, uh, that's pretty much it actually let's see if this battery I'm not going to crank it because for one motor mount and actually I'll I'll click it because it actually has no plugs in it either so Actually, that might not be a good idea. And actually, no, that's not a good idea to do that. Just remember, it's got an open fuel line, and uh, if you pull the uh, fuel pump uh, fuse, it has no crank. So there's the uh, fuel line right there. So, that battery might be dead. I'm not sure yet. That is obviously the one that was on the uh, in the Troy belt originally, but um, I don't know if it's uh, any good or not. And because it was starting to go low the other day, so I'll have to put it on charger soon, eventually. So that's uh, pretty much it. Um, I haven't really been on the CB, so it's been really cold. Yesterday was pretty much the only day really I could get out here and get anything done. I have used the heat, but uh, I've been also busy in the house getting uh, a lot of stuff done in there and in the basement and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it what I've been up to. So I'll talk to everyone later. Please keep it redneck like always. And uh, everyone stay warm and uh, have a great day. And uh, I will not be around on the weekend. So I might do a video early next week or Sunday night when I get home. Bye for now.